Hey everyone, this is Dan. With this video, I'll be teaching you some of the cool stuff coming to the platform regarding communities and the social element to your websites. So, this is the walls, the posts, the comments, the reactions, the polls, a lot of cool stuff. So this is in particular one wall with some posts that we created, and it's so simple to create one. So your clients would be able to also create their own posts. They can select featured images, videos, posts, files, in this case, a poll. They can add some information about, you know, the text about your post, etc., some reactions. And the next step is what kind of a reactions you want to have. If it's like emojis, like standard like, dislike, etc., or a votes and downvotes like Reddit slash uh, forum type of a, of a post. And you can post it right away. It's that simple, and then people can start interacting with it, upvote, downvote, uh, and select the options that they choose inside of the posts. And the great thing is that all these things will be actual triggers. So whenever a user interacts with a post, let's say they react with an upvote, they react and select a specific poll option, or if, it, if they like or dislike or whatever, um, think to a post, you can use that as a trigger inside of your automation. So that's a super cool way of interacting even further with your clients by knowing what they like, dislike, and what they, they choose from the posts. So that's really, really cool. Uh, here are some other options. Of course, you can delete posts that you have created. Um, you can also see uh, here are some comments. You can reply to this comment as well. Add an emoji if you want and reply right away so people can see it. You can also expand and collapse different uh, comments that you have. Uh, images, you can apply images to your comments as well. Um, and here is a featured image type of a post with reactions here instead of uh, upvotes and downvotes. And the next thing is, the co well, actually, something else. It's you, can, you can also expand the, um, the post in a pop-up so that you can easily see um, directly about this post, what is happening with it, if you have more comments, for example, or featured element. Then you have the compact view. This is more if you want to create, um, not like, like this, like wall, uh, like social wall, but like more like articles maybe and, and posts that are shown when you click on it. So this is really, really cool. For example, if you want to create like forum-like uh, type of interaction or maybe things like help guides uh, and each one to be only created by a moderator, by an admin. Uh, and you can also use this as for feature requests, like in our roadmap, we'll be probably transitioning into this uh, when it is introduced, so people can upvote and download the different features, the same way like our roadmap. So this is really, really cool for, for communities, for help guides, for uh, feature requests. Then we have the forum style. So this is another uh, subset, so basically creating multiple walls. Instead of having just one wall, uh, with all the posts there, you can have people to choose from different walls. So they can choose the wall and see the posts inside of it. Like in this example, here we have a post that you can uh, see that you have a featured text, image, and a poll at the same time. Uh, with some options here, you can of course see more of the comments if you have comments here with information on the side. Uh, you can also choose the, the layout, but that's, uh, yeah, you can see it later. So you can also have featured image, Color, etc. So these are the options for different walls that people can, can choose to see information about. Again, this is so cool for help guides, for forums, for communities that you can build. So this is a quick overview of the communities and the social element. I hope that you enjoyed and please let us know in the comments below what do you think of these new features coming to the platform very soon. Thank you.